hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion you can see how to track your feed changes in the chatter part and in case you missed previous discussion about how to add followers in the chatter please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands channel under the playlist you can see odoo development and here you can see different types of playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test cases right and in case you need any support related odoo you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address source code also available in the github make sure you can follow and we have a different social media pages make sure you can follow to get the latest notification so let's back to our main topic like how you can track your specific fields in the chatter side all right so for example let me go to the cells let me go to this gemini furniture and now you can see in the chatter part if i will try to cancel this order you can see right now the state is the cells order right and now it's updated as a cancelled so if you want to track this from uh, this state field who cancel this cells order right so you can see here the state is the field and it's updated from cells order to cancel okay and let me again set to the draft you can see it's updated from cancel to quotation right so it's also add here the log the this is the field name the label name this is the older value and this is the new value now let's say if i will try to change this customer and try to save you can see here the customer label name is here this is the older customer and this is the newer customer and who did this one so this user did for this timestamp okay so for example uh, one more thing if i will try to change the date right and i will try to save in the chatter part you can't see that date why because the traceability functionality is disabled for this field but for this customer and the state field is activated so due to that in the chatter automatically updated the older value and the newer value if you want to do the same thing in your custom module that is also fine so for example uh let's say this user right if i want to change to this 2 to like 17890 and i want to i will click to save and i want to see here like who changed this user and uh, what time right so for that you have to go to in the odoo in your custom module all right so this is the school profile and simple you can add here comma and you have to add here one more attribute which is the tracking equal to true that's it after that you can just restart the service okay and again go to here refresh the screen and again i will try to remove this uh 789 content i will add as a two all right and save you can see here directly it's update as a name so this is the name field this is the older value and this is the newer value who did this so this user did and what time you can hover here and it will display the time right and another thing is if you want to change the schools right from like 1 to 6 and once i will click to save button you can see the school name is not updated here let's say if you want to also change that thing that is also possible so for that you can go to here the school right school underscore id and tracking equal to true after that restart the service go to here in the front end side and again you can just change the school name all right so it's display like field label name older school name and the newer updated school name you can see here like this all right now another thing is tracking equal to true 
only used when you inherit this mail dot track okay so for example uh, let's say hobby so this one hobby right i'm just adding here like tracking equal to true save and i will try to restart the service again i will go to here in the student hobby and i will change here like 90 and save you can see here that old value and new value is not display why because the mail dot thread model we didn't inherit here so due to that this tracking equal to true functionality is not working all right so this thing we have to remember otherwise whenever you, like if you spend a lot of time to just update like tracking equal to true and without this mail dot thread model if you didn't inherit in your custom module right then it won't be work so this is the main configuration here to active this tracking functionality all right so in case you have any doubt related this topic please comment below and see you in our next session in our next session we are trying to display the chatter functionality in the this chatter functionality in the portal side so we will try to add the chatter functionality so here we don't need to worry about because these groups i will try to remove and simple i will try to upgrade this module and refresh the screen now you want to add here the chatter functionality right that is also possible but we will see in our next session